Hello guys and welcome to another in-depth review. My name is Tyler with NNT Auto Reviews. Today we're going to be filming this beautiful 2016 Kia Forte in the EX trim. Before we get started, I'd like to give a very big thanks out to Shakers Kia in Watertown, Connecticut for allowing me to film the car in today's review. The Forte EX is available in six colors. This one is called Steel Blue. The headlights are projector low beams and halogen high beams with your LED daytime running lights and halogen fog lights down below. You have the signature Kia Tiger Nose Grille. The Forte EX comes standard with these 17 inch alloys and it kind of has like this gray uh, background here and the front is finished in the alloy color. You do have ventilated disc brakes as well. The wheelbase of this car comes in at 106.3 inches and you have these little buttons on the door handles where you can use just your finger while well, you have your key in your pocket and you can lock and unlock your car. Out back you have halogen lights for your brake lights, turn signals and reverse lights. You have a backup camera and your trunk release is right here. You also have a chrome exhaust tip. Alright, so let's go ahead and pop the hood. So, under the hood, the Forte EX comes standard with this 2 liter uh, inline 4 cylinder engine with 173 horsepower and 154 pound feet of torque. Lower trim levels, such as the LX, come with a more fuel-efficient four-cylinder, putting out 143 horsepower and 130 pound-feet of torque. Also, before we step in, I'd like to mention that these door handles do light up, and there are puddle lights underneath the mirrors for at night. So we could go ahead and step in. So you have the stitching on the armrest here and it's all soft touch. You have one of your speakers, a bottle holder. You have your rear windows, front windows are automatic, lock on lock. You have your window lock button and these are your mirror controls. You do have folding mirrors, which is always a great feature. On the left of the dash you have this sort of uh, mimic carbon fiber look, I'm not sure if you can see it, but you have headlight dimmers here, you have an eco mode, and you also have a uh, traction control off button. Here's a lever for your steering wheel, you can put that down and you can tilt and telescope the steering wheel. You can lock it back in place by just putting that back in. There's a fuse box there, you have your trunk release, fuel cap release. You have logoed carpeted floor mats, and those are your pedals there. The driver's seat is six-way manual. You can also get a ten-way power seat if you opt for it. All right, let's go ahead and check out the interior. You have chrome door handles. Here's your key for the car. It's a very nice key. You have your lock, unlock, trunk open, and a panic button. It's got these really nice metal look buttons. Okay, so the way you would start this is you put your foot on the brake, make sure the key's in the interior, and go ahead and press the start button. And it starts right up. All 
Alright, so let's go ahead and start on this uh, leather wrap steering wheel here. We have some stitching there and a grip. Along with your key logo on the airbag cover. So on this side of the steering wheel we have sort of all our media controls. Mute button for the audio, a mode button, volume, uh, as well as our selections. Uh, voice commands as well as your phone control. Right here is for your cruise control, you can set it here. Turn it on there, set your distance maybe. Right here is your controls for your turn signals and your lights. On the right stock are your wiper controls. So here's our gauges. Uh, we have our RPM gauge over here and our temperature gauge. As long as we do have this uh, little information display here and our speedometer and, and fuel. Above the screen you have your time and your outside temperature which is always very convenient. Okay so now we can go ahead and look at the main stack here. This is your navigation screen. We have navigation there. You can input your destination there. Satellite radio. Your media screen. We have Bluetooth, your route, phone setup, and your kind of info there. Volume knob, your power on off. Right here, your climate controls. This is your, your fan speed, air conditioning, recycling. You have read defrost, and this is all your zones. And this is your uh, temperature here. As well, up here, I forgot to mention you do have hazards. Below your climate controls, you have a little storage pocket here. You have two power outlets, a USB and an AUX. Below the storage tray, you have these three-stage heated seats. And this is your gear selector for your six-speed automatic transmission. And you do have like a sort of manual mode right here. You have your manual parking brake. There's two cup holders right here. And you do have an armrest with a little tray. It's really deep storage in there. Up here is your rear view mirror with your garage home light controls. You have illumination up here. As well as your sunroof controls. We will demonstrate that in a second. And your sunglass holder. Up here is your visor with a little mirror. You can turn on your light here. And a cool thing that I noticed is when you close the visor, it'll turn off the light automatically. There's also a, a speaker for your Bluetooth. And here's the sunroof that we can demonstrate. We can pull it back and it'll open. It's very quiet. And then it'll close. It is also one touch. If you want to close the shade again. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out the rear cabin of the car. On the door panel you have your window button, the same uh, chrome. And you have the leather stitching, bottle holder for a small bottle, and a speaker. I'm actually very surprised at how much room we actually have back here. Here you have an armrest, a couple of cup holders, it's nicely padded. You have handles. A light that you can turn on and off. So let's go ahead and check out the front passenger room next. The passenger door has the same button as the driver's door does to unlock it. So you have your lock or unlock button and your window switch. Speaker again, stitching, padded, 
You have your nice floor mats. And the seat is manual. Here's your glove box. It is illuminated and it has quite a bit of storage. It's got nice soft plastic on the inside. Okay, so now, last but not least, let's go ahead and check out the trunk. So you can open the trunk three different ways. You can use this button right here. Also the button on the key. As well as the button that I showed you earlier. Alright, so under the trunk you have, you can fold the seats right here, and you have just under 15 cubic feet of room back here. You have a carpet, and the trunk does go in pretty deep. Fuel economy for the 2 liter engine and the EX is 24 city, 35 highway miles per gallon, and the fuel tank has a 13.2 gallon capacity.